Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to program the HZ-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. After we are done programming it, we're going to hook the sensor up and to our Arduino and we're going to watch out how it works. Uh, for the code, we're going to need to define a couple pins here that we'll be using on the Arduino. So number sign, define. And we're going to have a trig pin, trigger pin. And that's going to be on uh, pin number 12 of the Arduino. We're going to define another pin. It's going to be our echo pin. And that's going to be on number 13 of our Arduino. Now I'm going to need to store some values. So I'm going to create a variable, or three variables. And since I don't care about anything beyond the decimal point I'm just going to use integer so int and I'm going to need a variable for time I'm going to need a variable for inches and one for centimeters also okay now we'll write our void setup this runs before your computer actually does all their your microprocessor does the uh, actual program. This is this will set everything up before your program really runs. So we're going to be using a serial port to monitor the output or inches, centimeters away from something that we are. So we're going to use serial port uh, serial begin and we're going to go 9600 baud rate. Uh, now we're going to need to set some pin modes, inputs or outputs. So we're going to go, oops, in here, pin mode. And we're going to trig pin is going to be output. Now we're going to do pin mode again and set the echo pin to input and that would be the end of our setup now we're going to get down to the main main function, the void loop and this runs over and over and over until we'll turn off the power or reset button but void loop Whoops, wrong symbol there. Okay, now we're going to turn the sensor on and send out uh, ultrasonic pulse. And we're going to digital write to the trig pin. And we're going to turn that on high. there's two states high and low high is on low is off and now we're gonna write that high so we're sending out a pulse and then we're gonna delay and let it send out a pulse for a certain amount of time and we're gonna go microseconds microseconds and we're only gonna go three alright there are a thousand milliseconds in a second and there are a thousand microseconds in a millisecond. So we're sending this pulse out for three millionths of a second. And then we're going to turn this off. Alright, trig. In. Low. Turn it off. Now we're going to use one of our variables and we're going to our variable time is going to be the time it took for that ping to go out hit something and come back so we're going to do time is equal to pulse in and the pulse in is coming from the echo pin 
from being high. Now we're going to turn off that pin. Once we receive the signal, we're going to turn that pin back off. Uh, digital. Right. Okay, now that time equals something, we're going to convert it into inches and centimeters. So now to convert this into inches, we're going to take in for inches equals, uh, let's see, time divided by 74. And then since we need it to be the time to the wall or to the obstacle instead of the time there and back we're going to have to divide this by two okay now that will give us the inches and we're going to go and get the centimeters equals time divided by 29 and then we're going to divide that by two also Okay, now we have the values for inches and centimeters. Now we're going to print it out so we can see what it is. So we're going to do serial dot print. And we're going to do inches. It's going to print inches. Now we're going to serial print. We're going to do a space and let everyone know that what we just printed is inches. And we're going to do a comma and a space because we're going to keep on printing to that same line. And we're going to print now centimeters. Since we don't want anything else to be printed to these lines, we're going to do a line break. So we do LN, serial print LN. Everything else will be on one line. You'll see when we hook this up. Alright. And now we're going to give it a delay before it starts the loop again. Delay. And we're going to go 50. And this delay is in milliseconds. This, it would take a thousand milliseconds to be one second. So this is going to be a very, very short time that it's going to delay before it runs again. All right, and that is our program. I will uh, hook up the camera and hook up the sensor, uh, breadboard, and Arduino. Okay, now that we have our code all done, we're going to wire this up and get this going. Now, from, if you're looking at the back of it, from left to right, you're going to have ground, echo, trigger, and the voltage pins. Okay, now we're going to put this in our breadboard. So we got ground way over on the left hand side. We're going to put ground, oh, let's take little ones. I'm going to take the ground, and I'm going to hook that up to the blue side up the rail, the board. Okay, now on the far right hand side we're going to have our voltage. So I'm going to take and I'm going to hook that up to the blue bar. Okay, now we might as well put some voltage and ground to the board. So we're going to go 5 volts Ground, ground, five volts, and we're gonna hook that up to our red, our red strip. Let's see if we can see this, and we'll take ground and hook it up to ground on our Arduino.
Okay, now we need to hook up the trig pin and the echo pin. Let's take a look. The trig pin is right next to the voltage. Plug that in and let's look in our code and see. Trig pin is connected to number 12. So we're going to look over here on our board. Let me see. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Trig pin is hooked up to number twelve on the Arduino. Now we're going to go the echo pin. Echo pin is going to be hooked up to pin number thirteen on the board. Now that easy to wire. Twelve and thirteen on the Arduino. You got five volts and ground, and they're hooked right up to your sensor here. Now let's plug this in and see if this works. We'll upload it. Okay. Now we're going to compile and upload. As soon as it gets done here, we'll open up the serial monitor and we'll see what the values are, if it's working right. There we go. Very good. Here's the serial monitor. You see it's reading oh, 42 inches, probably around 42 inches away from the wall. 106, 107 centimeters. I'm going to put my hand out here and start moving in. And you'll see it's changing with the distance bouncing off my hand. This will tell your robot if it's getting too close to a wall or not. And you can go in and change the values in your code to make it slow down, speed up. Uh, you probably need it fairly fast to keep your robot from bumping into walls or something. There's the code, and there's how to hook it up.